This lip is literally from another galaxy. So I took two of my favorite things, aliens and disco queens, and created one look here on the gorgeous Brenna. <laughs> so let me show you how I did it. Okay, Brenna, are you excited? We're about to do your Halloween look. Yes, I'm ready to Alien, be transformed. Disco, disco. All of it. Okay, so now don't get scared. I'm actually doing your complexion from this palette. Okay. So it's gonna be fun. This is the Makeup Forever Flash Palette. I'm gonna be taking this teal tone and some of the white tone. I'm not gonna apply this with a brush. I'm gonna apply it with a disposable sponge. I want it dry, because I don't want to shear it out. I want the full coverage. And I also don't want to stain like a beauty blender or anything like that with all these colors and pigments we're doing. We're gonna start off right under the eyes. And away we go. <laughs> So I'm applying under the eye first, always with complexion, whether it's blue or whether it's a normal skin. <laughs> you always want your most coverage in the center of your face. And then we're gonna build outwards from there. Is this your first blue face? No, it's not. Mm. That's a good question. And and oddly enough, no, it is not I'm my not first, blue, first face. blue face. It is not, <laughs> no. I have done blue skin, green skin, purple skin. Wow. If you can think of it, I've done it. As you can see, I'm not sweeping. I'm really just doing a tapping motion, spreading it out, allowing the product itself to just melt into the skin. There's no need to go super heavy right from the beginning. And honestly, with anything like this where you're doing a complexion that's a different color for Halloween, do the same rules, do the same things you would do to your complexion. You're just doing it in this weird alien color. <laughs> now I'm gonna let the eyes remain blank while I get the complexion done. And I always say that's a good way to do any kind of like costume makeup or theatrical makeup is, you know, either do the eyes first or do the skin first, separate the two of them. Now that we've got that down, I'm take a little bit more of the white. Now I wanna start getting some dimension in here. Mm. Right? You start to see that dimension yeah, pop totally out. see a difference. So next thing we're gonna do, we've got to set this. Translucent powders must have here. So you wanna use a setting powder with a big fluffy brush, and we're just gonna press it, because if you don't, it's gonna move everywhere. Now we go into the fun part. So we got the Norvina palette, lots of fun colors here. First thing I'm gonna do is use the white. Everything is about layering. Like I said, think about it the way you would normal skin complexion. And then we'll go into like the actual sort of turquoise color. And we're gonna apply that the same way we would have if we were using it for our deeper tones. Okay, so now we're gonna do the eyes. So what I'm gonna do is take a little more of that cream and I'm primarily gonna keep it light. Just pressing that setting powder right into that. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit more of that blue, just so we get a little bit of dimension in here. So here's the fun thing. We could do some blush with this, because there are colors in here that are definitely blush worthy, but a lot easier way to do this is to actually just use a blush. I'm gonna be using okay. this one from Give Beauty. It's really fun, it's like pink tones, because I wanna give you some blush. We're disco, disco is all about blush. Alien is blue face, disco is pink blush. <laughs> and just build it slowly, don't rush anything. Oh my God, that's so fun that's looking. That's so pretty. Loving the pink and blue together. Yes. This is what I love about Halloween though. Let go, have fun. Keep adding more till it looks good. That's my motto. <laughs> okay, so the next product is really fun. This is from Danessa Myrick's Beauty. I absolutely love this one. This is her Infinite Chrome Flakes. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. And I will apply it. Oh my God. I know, right? And they apply really best with the finger. So just tap them into place. And if you want to build this product and get it to be really intense, you got to let the top layer kind of dry down before you start adding your next layer. And when you're out and a light hits you, your eyes are going to look radioactive. 
So now we're gonna do just a little bit of liner because we're gonna be using lashes. I just want a bit of a smoky darkness under the eye. And I'm using the Colfi, which is a really nice coal pencil. This is really to anchor the lashes down. All right, let's get some lashes on. These are from House of Lashes and Sephora Collection. I'm just gonna be adding some glue. Oh, they're so wispy and pretty. They're gonna give you the like dimension yeah. and like that volume of length. I mean, my face is blue, so. <laughs> right, exactly, you almost have to have a bigger lash because yeah. if you don't, it's gonna be like, why is her face blue and she has tiny lashes? Yeah. So I'm gonna have you look down. We're just gonna pop these right on and let them sit. Oh, wow. Oh my God, these are so cute wow. on you. I feel like my eyes just got four times bigger. bigger. Yes. <laughs> All right, so lower lashes. Fake lashes are created to go up because okay. they're mostly made for this. Now you can get some that are made to go down. If you can't find those or if you just want to use a pair that you have, cut them into little sections. That's what I did here already. I cut them into small little almost individual clusters. That's gonna make it so that you can flip it and glue it upside down without the band getting weird and wonky. Okay. And it gives you a lot more control too because you're just gluing little sections on rather than trying to get a whole strip to stay. We can add a little bit of mascara kind of really don't need much with this. So I'm not really adding it to the false lash. I'm just combining your lash with it. So it's dark, it's the same tone underneath. The lip, we need a lip now. I'm gonna line your lips first. So I've got one size, this is the lip snatcher. Now don't worry about filling in the lip because we're gonna be using a liquid lipstick. So really the lip liner is just to give us our shape. And then this is actually a liquid lipstick from one size and a gloss on the other side. Okay, so now the final touch. We're gonna be adding the gloss that goes with that. And it's like so the epitome of 1970 disco and still has that air of alien space girl. I love it. I Yay. feel like totally out of body and beautiful and just <laughs> I'm so happy. You're gonna have so much fun tonight. Yes. We still gotta think of a name for you. I think it's Supernova. Supernova Queen Cotton Candy Machine. A hundred percent disco <laughs> goddess. But for everyone else out there, if you wanna recreate this look, you can shop the shelf. And until next time, happy Halloween. <laughs>